Hey, what's up? I am amazed by your stamina, you guys. I mean, for the last three weeks, I've been showing you compass and basically how to make a digital 4th of July inside your computer, and you want more. I, I got some messages saying, I want my Linux distro to look exactly like Windows 7. I'm going, okay. And uh, I had somebody else ask me, what about Mac OS X? I want it to look identical to Mac OS X. And I'm thinking, I can do that for you. And it's a very simple concept, and it's called themes. Do do do, magically in the computer again, go to your browser. We're going to go to www.gnome-look.org, and that is going to be just this huge collection of themes, including your Mac and including your Windows 7. However, with the dock, uh, which is kind of like the equivalent of the Windows toolbar in Mac, um, you need to do a little bit extra for that. So I'm just going to show you what theme that I use. Slickness Black. I'm going to search for it. That's the theme that I have running currently. All the way down to the download link. And it's going to be a compressed file. And so we know that with compressed files in Windows or in Mac, we're going to have to extract it. And so I'm just going to save it on the desktop to be simple. And after the download is done, close the window, got some more compass effects for you there. And I'm going to go to the file where I downloaded it. And much like Windows, you can just use extract here. So you right click and extract in the folder that you wish to extract it. Now get ready for the fun part. Go to applications, accessories, and terminal. We're going to do some typing. And of course you can always pause and get a better look at the command, but what I'm going to do now is just kind of give you an overview of what it really means and what you're doing. We're using sudo cp command, which is the copy command, and we're taking all of the slickness black that we have on the desktop and transferring it to the necessary folder that it has to go to. If you went with a different theme, then you would just put whatever theme that you chose, and it is all case sensitive, so be mindful of that. And now I'm using the sudo chmod command, which helps change permissions. I'm logged in as Nixie, and I hope you're not logged in as root. And so I'm just going to allow all of the computer users to have access to this theme. So that's all the typing you need to do, and we want to verify it's there. So go to System Preferences and Appearance, and then scroll down, and it should be, yes, voila. There is our slickness black theme. Are you satisfied now? Really, though, now that you mention it, it does bring it full circle. The Compass Fusion that we talked about before with the crazy desktop and workspace switching, and then we have the themes to kind of complete the look. So we're super slick with our slickness theme, and or whatever theme we so choose. But I hate to disappoint you because next week, since you've been challenging me visually, I'm going to challenge you technically. And we're going to be throwing some command lines out there that, that you might not really know. I might not even know it. I'm going to entrust the Linux gods on that one. And I hope to see you next week. Catch you later. Bye.